Well, the weather perfect on the beach this morning in Fort Morgan, making the release of a sea turtle back into the Gulf all the more special. News 5's Debbie Williams has that story on the Baldwin County Beat. One, two, three. I'm glad to see you back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a trip six weeks in the making. A 100-pound Kemp's Ridley sea turtle headed back to the Gulf. A big sea turtle. A missing front flipper isn't the reason she spent six weeks in rehab at the Gulfarium in Fort Walton Beach. A fishing hook is. We were coming up on some people that were fishing, and all of a sudden they frantically started running towards us and going, are you sea turtle people? Are you sea turtle people? Marcy Forrester and Jackie Kaiser are volunteers with Share the Beach. They helped rescue the turtle. Your adrenaline just goes. I mean, you're so, you want to help, you want to do the right thing. And now they're helping again. You can calm down. We're almost there, I promise. <laughs> You're going home. For the first time since that August morning. She looked bigger, and of course she was so pretty. The turtle is back in familiar waters. I hope she will live a long life, produce many babies, but don't get caught again. Once in a lifetime is enough. On the Baldwin County Beat in Fort Morgan, Debbie Williams, News 5. The Gulfarium is reporting an increase in the number of Alabama turtles in their rehab facilities. They attribute that to more people and more education of what to do when you encounter a sea turtle. Now, if you see a turtle in need of help, you can call the Stranding Hotline. That's 1-866-SEA-TURTLE.